African Cup of Nations Week 1 Roundup, Liverpool pair clash and Arsenal man heading home, the 2022 African Cup of Nations is now in full swing. The competition kicked off on Sunday 9 January as hosts Cameroon took on Burkina Faso. A full week's worth of action has since played out, with every side now having played two of their three group games. So far, there have been a number of high-scoring, intense ties, with a scoop full of controversy thrown in for good measure. For example, the referee in Tunisia and Mali's game would originally blow for full time after 85 minutes. The game was then restarted, but despite lengthy stop pages in the second half, the referee then blew the full time whistle after 89 minutes and 44 seconds. This was followed by CAF officials storming into the Mali post match press conference to demand the final three minutes of injury time be played. In the end, though, the game was not restarted, and Mali escaped with a controversial win. Elsewhere Ghana and Gabon's clash ended in a brawl, with Benjamin Teta punching a Gabon star, despite these issues, though, each team has played two games apiece, with a clear picture of who is likely to progress into the knockout rounds emerging. Here is 101's group-by-group -group roundup from the first week of the 2022 Afghan. As mentioned above, it would be hosts, Cameroon, who kicked off this year's Afghan. The hosts have been handed a pretty easy group that consists of Burkina Faso, Cape Verde and Ethiopia. So far, Cameroon have, unsurprisingly, dominated their games, beating Burkina Faso 2-1 and Ethiopia 4-1. Their final group clash comes against Cape Verde on Monday, with a draw enough to ensure they secure top spot in Group A. They are currently priced at 8-11ths with BT365 to secure the three points. Here is how Group A looks after week one of action. Group B would see two Liverpool teammates pitted against each other as Sadio Mane's Senegal and Navy Keita's Guinea V for a spot in the knockout rounds along with Malawi and Zimbabwe. Senegal, after reaching the final in 2019, were amongst the favourites to win the competition this term. However, they would struggle to earn a win over Zimbabwe in their opening match, only being saved by a last-minute penalty from Maine. Then Senegal would play out a 0-0 draw with Keita's Guinea, who beat Malawi 1-0 in their opening match, on Friday this means Group B will go down to the wire, with Senegal needing to better Guinea's result in the final set of group games to secure top spot. Maine and Co. will face Malawi and are priced at two-fifths to win, whilst Guinea take on Zimbabwe. Here is how Group B looks at present. Group C at the 2022 African Cup of Nations consists of Morocco, Gabon, Ghana, and Comoros. Present, it is Morocco who topped the group, having picked up maximum points so far with wins over Ghana and Comoros. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's Gabon are in second spot, having picked up a win over Comoros, followed by a 0-0 draw with Thomas Partey's Ghana. That result leaves Partey's Ghana on just one point with only one game left to play. As a result, Ghana need to see off Comoros in their last match and hope Gabon lose to Morocco. If not, Arsenal could be handed a boost with party heading home after just three games. Group D would see two African heavyweights face off in the opening round in the form of Nigeria and Egypt. Egypt, of course, have Mohamed Salah, arguably the best player in the world right now, in their squad. However, Salah could not break down Nigeria with Leicester City's Kalechi Ihinacho instead scoring the only goal on the day for Nigeria. Egypt then went on to pick up their first win of the tournament versus Guinea-Bissau, whilst Nigeria saw off Sudan. As a result, Nigeria looks set to secure top spot in Group D, with Egypt likely to finish in second place. Egypt's final group game comes versus Basement Welling Sudan on Wednesday. They are priced at with BT365 to win. Group D standings after week one of action, Group E is home to the current Afghan holders, Algeria, as well as Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone and Equatorial Guinea. As Algeria won the whole thing last time out, Riyud Mahrez and co. were expected to dominate this group. However, they have so far drawn with Sierra Leone and were dealt a shock loss at the hands of Equatorial Guinea. As a result, Algeria's only way of qualifying now is by beating Ivory Coast, 11 eighths price with Bet365, in their last group match and hoping Sierra Leone see off Equatorial Guinea. Ivory Coast, though, will prove a tough nut to crack and would only drop points on Sunday after some spectacular goalkeeping errors which eventually ended in Serge Aurier, being between the posts, Group F is made up of Gambia, Mali, Mauritania, and Tunisia. It is Gambia and Mali who currently look set to make it into the knockout rounds with the Dusat joint top of the group with four points each. Mali would beat Tunisia 1-0 in their opening match, before drawing with Gambia on Sunday. Gambia, meanwhile, saw off Mauritania in their opening outing. 
Tunisia then picked up their first and only win so far with a 3-0 drubbing of Mauritania, who are now unable to qualify for the knockout rounds. So, with Tunisia set to face Gabon in the final set of group games, Mali and Gambia simply need one point to guarantee qualification.